What is up guys and welcome back to another Minecraft vehicle tutorial with me, Zarius. Now guys, I'm on Lord Dacker's server again outside his zoo. Oh yeah. And I've gone through my actual channel list guys and I thought I actually built this vehicle. And I've seen it that many times uh, on Dacker's zoo videos that I've built that one. And I've also built another one down there, the little train down there. And I thought I'd build this, and I do apologize, I really thought I did, and I didn't. So, I'm gonna build that for you today, guys. So, if you're building along with Daka, you can build this now as well. So, what we're gonna need, guys, and I'm gonna build it a bit different in, uh, in design and color uh, than this, so I don't have to switch out metadatas, but Lord Daka's texture pack, go and download it, guys. You're gonna love it, you'll be able to come up with patterns like this, awesome. We're gonna need blocks of coal, we're going to use uh, spruce slabs, we're going to use blocks of uh, black stained glass, black stained glass panes, and we're going to use a lot of the iron bars. And for the actual uh, build itself, I'm going to go and choose the birchwood planks. Alright. the glass over. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to build it right, build it right here, actually. Put your first block down, leave a one, two, three space gap, and place another one, okay? With your actual uh, spruce wood slabs, you're gonna place right across the front, just one layer of the front. You're gonna come out by two, one, two, and you're gonna fill all that in, just like that. All right? Now from here, we're gonna come out by four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so you're gonna have a little gap here. Then what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna grab our wheels, we're gonna place two wheels down here, just like that. So from the top, guys, if you're following, that is what you're gonna should have. It's like a little alien man with a pair of eyes. All right? Then we're gonna go back inside, and we're gonna fill all the center in here. Then we're gonna come out, and we're gonna come out again, and just add one block at the end. So you've got this little groove here. So once again, from the top, that is the design you should have from the top. Okay. Now I won't go and put all the signs on on the sides as yet, but we're going to start with the actual birchwood planks. We're going to place two on the corners, just like that, by leaving a three space gap in the center. Okay. Now I've done this a long time ago, so I'm going to have another double check. I'm going to place three. Okay. Three. So one, two, and three. Just like that. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come out by one. So you're going to have this is going to be a doorway to come in, right? And then you're going to place these all along the back. Like that. And leave a one block gap. And then this side, you're just going to run all the way to the end to join up here. So from the top, that is what you should have. And from the front. From here, what we're going to do for the actual grill itself, we're going to use the note block. And the reason why I'm using the note block is because it looks like a grill for one of these bus, tourist bus, whatever you call it, carriage sort of thing. With your iron bars, we're going to place three iron bars on the front just to protect this actual guard. And then what we can do, guys, is we're going to put a sign here. We'll put the signs there and there. Pop in a bit of glowstone if we could find a glowstone, or we'll just use yellow glass, or we'll just use glowstone. And pop a glowstone in here and here. I'm gonna try something here, guys. I'm gonna run. Oh, that works as well. Okay, so just put the iron bars right across. Like that. Okay, now, next step. On top of the actual grill, we're gonna place three. Three blocks of black glass. On top, another three. 
from here we're going to grab our black stained glass panes and we're going to place the three on the edge and then three up. So it just gives you that little corner curl. Like so. Alright, so from the top that's what it's going to look like. From here we're going to grab our birchwood planks and right next to the door we're just going to run a layer going across. Alright, we're back to your glass, you're going to bring that right to the edge of the corner. And this is where it's going to get entertaining. We're going to use iron bars. And we're going to use a lot of them. So I'm going to go around here and I'm going to speed this up. Okay, now that we've actually got the iron bars put in, right at the back here, we're just going to connect it right across. So it's just this little doorway here. And since we're here, we're going to go into our redstone area and we're going to go and grab ourselves a fence gate. And with a fence gate, you're just going to pop that in there. Just a simple way of getting in and out. Whilst we're in here, guys, we're going to ch change it up a bit and we're going to choose a uh, color seating. I'm just going to go with the uh, stone stairs, but any color will fit really well. And just run that on either side, just like that, so you can actually sit down and look out. Right here at the back, we're going to continue with the iron bars, we're going to connect them right across, just like that. So that way if a lion or something does come in the front door and eats the driver, you're all going to be protected in here. Okay, right here what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of an interior and I think we'll stick with the actual birch and we'll do a sandstone birch. Here we go. We're going to do our little interior cabin here. And we'll put a nice seat down here, so we'll just do a dark one, there we go. We'll get a lever, and that can be his uh, gear stick, just like that. Okay, and we'll also get some redstone, and we'll just put some, like, lights or something here, and whatever you want to do. Also, whilst we're doing the interior of the cabin, we're going to grab our steering wheel, just pop that there, like so. And you can put other stuff here. We'll put like uh, maybe you'll put a sign as well. Put a couple of signs on here and here. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Anyway, now that the uh, little cabin is done, we'll put a sign there maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Does it work on this side? It does. All right. So there's your little. Uh, drivable seat and area and you can put other things in here as well guys okay go back to your redstone area grab another fence gate and just pop that in there as a little door now for the top we're going to go back to our uh, spruce wood slabs and we're going to place three across the top we're going to come out by one and one this side so five in total we're going to follow this all the way to the back of the vehicle. Just like that. We'll keep on bringing it right across and right round again. Like so. Now when you look down at the actual wire or the fence, we're just going to put a line across here as well. And that is the two separators. With your actual black glass blocks, all right, we're just going to fill that in as like, sort of like a sunroof. So you still get daylight, but if it's a real hot day, it'll protect you. Just like that. Okay, now, next step is we are going to grab some 
trapdoors and we're going to place trapdoors all along the front. This is a bit of a windshade or light shade for the driver. And we're also going to go and grab some buttons. And with the buttons, we're just going to use these as these little indicators that he might need. We're going to come around down the back, pop two in here as well, like so. With your iron bars, we're just going to place iron bars on the back. We're not going to worry about reverse lights or brake lights. And we come right here and we're going to grab another lever. And we're going to grab ourselves some white stained grey glass panes. I'm going to pop that there and the glass panes are going to come up by too high. Just like that. Once again, right here. second block right here and up again just like that all right next step we can just tart it up a bit more if you want if you want to put a button here you can and the last step that I can see is if we grab our signs and just pop them around front of the vehicle. And we'll just put a tag in here. There we go, we'll just call it Zaris HD Zoo Tank. There we go. And it's just a matter of going right around your vehicle and protecting it from any any things that might flick up if it's uh, elephant crap dirt that you might see behind the actual tires though you want to place a sign here and that's going to be like a mud flap as well continue this right around the edge and what you could do as well you Put any number plate. You can make patterns on the actual uh, on the actual signs. That would look really good. And we'll just keep on cruising through. And yeah, I know there are faster ways of just pressing escape for these signs. But I'm old school. Just like that, and we can put another button, maybe another button just there, like that. Now another thing I just found is put a sign here and you can actually put your uh, branding on it as well. Just put like, you know, zoo. And that is the build guys. That is the build. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. It looks really good. It look even better if it was in a zoo, as you see. Dak has got them, got my vehicles over there, and there's another one. Oh, there's a train over there, but there's also another bus over here somewhere, over there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, there'll be a lot of more vehicles coming up very, very shortly. I'm just getting back into Minecraft vehicle designing again. Thanks for your time and patience. Thanks for subbing to my channel, guys. Really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thanks to all the new subs that have joined. There'll be a lot more coming. Till next time, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.